Hello and welcome to this special programme as we cover the result of the by-election in Oldham East and Saddleworth, the first under this coalition government and a by-election which has come about through the extraordinary circumstances of an election court overturning Phil Wallace's election victory for Labour. And that means you can examine the form book of recent by-elections and it will tell you next to nothing because all previous certainties are out of the window more or less all political laws suspended. One certainty I can give you is turnout 48%, which is very respectable. Now, this is the scene at the count. The polls closed at 10 o'clock, and our political correspondent, Nora Kunzberg, is there. Well, John, here in Oldham, the count is now very well underway. And after a closely fought day where Labour and the Liberal Democrats say they've been in hand-to-hand -hand combat at polling stations across the constituency, Labour faces are now looking happy and relaxed, and with good reason. Sources indicate they could be looking at a majority of as much as 3,000 votes, much bigger than what they got at the general election. There are a lot more from you, of course, throughout the evening. Nothing official yet. Here we have an illustrious panel uh, to talk us through tonight's events and the consequences for all the parties. There can only be one victor, but this being a by-election, it's perfectly possible that all three main parties will be claiming some kind of victory before the night is out. Well, I'm joined by Michael Fallon, the Deputy Chairman of the Conservative Party. Uh, for the Liberal Democrats, Norman Lamb, Nick Cleggs, advisor on all matters, parliamentary, a close colleague of him indeed. And Sadiq Khan for Labour, the Shadow Lord Chancellor and Shadow Justice Secretary. And for further analysis, I'm glad to welcome John Curtis, Professor of Government at Strathclyde University, a number cruncher extraordinaire. Gentlemen, very good to have you uh, with us. We're also going to be joined later by Mike Smithson, the editor of the website politicalbetting.com. OK, before we begin our discussions in earnest, let's remind you of who's standing to become the new MP here. There's a total of 10 candidates. They're listed here alphabetically. Labour's candidate is Debbie Abrahams, chosen by the local party last month. The Conservative candidate is Kashif Ali. He stood in this seat at the general election and came third. And Elwyn Watkins, beaten by just 103 votes in the general election, is once again standing for the Liberal Democrats. 